Ninaona watu wanalia kijana alikuwa wa TikTok hapa. Alikuwa anaitwa Brian Sila. Brian Sugar what? Huyo kijana bere ya Kristo juarifika. Na nyinyi TikTok asimunisikie. Na nyinyi ambao mnapenda kufuata munisikie. <laughs> Wakati huyu kijana alifika bere ya Kristo immediately kufika tu bere ya Kristo alianza kumsi niruhusu niru, tu niruhusu tu nirudi is Brian Shira heaven or in hell now this inquiry stems from a pastor's proclamation asserting that he witnessed Brian Shira undergoing divine judgment in heaven according to the pastor's account following Brian's demise Four angels escorted him to meet Jesus Christ for judgment. Reports suggest that the verdict was severe, prompting Brian to plead fervently for a mere five minutes to return on earth to amend his ways. Pare, you know, akiwa katika anga hapa akienda, you will remember na malaika wale, akiwa hapa anaenda kwenye anga, akielekea huko kwa Kristo. Alipata Kristo kwa mrango. Immediately alipofika hapo ndio alisikia sauti ya ile injili na wale watu wanasiaga wakihubiri yake na sisi alikuwa anasema ni kelele tunapiga agelisema yoyote lakini wakati alifika pale kwa mlango alianza kukataa kuingia akawa anaelezea Kristo niruhusu tu nirudi hapa duniani dakika tano nielezewa na tikitoka kama mimi ambao hawasikii Mungu wao koke bele si kusuri bele si sawa alimsihi kristo niruhusu tu nirudi tu kama dakika tano tu duniani my brother my sister mimi sio judge huyu kijana alikufa akiwa mrefu na ninasikia watu wengine wakisema atisiku wongo alikuwa na gari sometimes huwa tunataka kuuliza mungu ili edaje unaona hiyo signal brother and my sister wale ambao mnasema kijana aliuawa mapepo ambayo yanawafuata hao ambao wamekubali kukaa kwa shetani na alikuwa anasema vizuri i'm a devotion i do it unajua 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 <laughs> mtu anachukua simu hivi anaingia kwa tiktok anaweka tu madoido na inakuwa ndio inafuatwa na watu wote na wengine wanafaidika katika ile mitandao lakini ujue juu ya yote juu ya yote siku moja utakuwa kwa hiyo kaburi siku moja utakuwa katika hiyo safari na utapata Kristo akiwa amesimama kwa mlango na ujue malaika wataka poeta na wewe malaika wale huwa wanapanda na wewe hmm? wakifika pale kwa mlango huu ukuta unakuwa wa white safi hakukwangi na mlango lakini wakikaribia tu pale wakiwa wamesimama inakaa ni kama bahari kuna crack inafunguka Kristo akiwa amesimama hapo mimi nikisema mahali ninajua Kristo huwa anasimama upande wa kulia wa huo mlango upande wangu wa kushoto hapo anakuwa kama amesimama ilia hiyo hakuna mtu yote ambaye anatokaga hapa duniani na asipikie huo mlango na malaika huwa wanakubeba wakikufikisha tu pale kwa mlango wanakuashikia sasa huko unaingia na malaika wengine na Kristo anakuraki Una, unapopenda kwa pale malaika wengine huwa anakugojea wakiwa ndani kasi yao ni hapo huyu kijana alijaribu kusema nipatieni tu dakika tano nirudi huko nielezee wana tikitoka wenzangu wamkubali Yesu Kristo awe mwokozi wa maisha yao but the big question is Where is Brian Shira at the moment because according to the pastor's account it seems Brian Shira was taken to hell but how true is this did he really go to hell now let's go to the bible and find the truth we will use the bible in this video because Brian Shira died as a christian and probably if he was a muslim we could also have used the quran to determine where he, w- he is at the moment now This is what happens when a person dies according to the Bible. According to the Bible in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 
The Bible says, and just as it is appointed to the children of men to die once, and after their deaths, the judgment. This means when a person dies, judgment begins immediately. You are judged immediately. And the outcome of the judgment will be determined with the state of your soul. And the state of your soul will be determined how you used to live on earth. Remember when a person dies according to the Bible, the body remains on earth, then the soul goes for judgment, and the spirit is taken by God, since the spirit belongs to God. Now, the outcome of the judgment, since the soul is the one that is being judged, will be determined how you used to live on earth. If you used to live a careless life, then the outcome of the judgment will be hell. And if you lived a life that pleased God, then the outcome of the judgment will be heaven. Now, judging Brian Shearer's lifestyle, many have concluded that the young man went straight to hell. You know, Brian Shearer was a drunkard, apparently, according to what people say. Brian Shearer was, you know, a member of the Alphabet community. I hope you know whatever I'm talking about. And if you see his lifestyle and what the Bible says about his lifestyle, the lifestyle kind of contradicted what the Bible wants for him. Because according to the Bible, we are told, no drunkard shall enter the kingdom of heaven, no member of the alphabet community shall enter the kingdom of heaven, and you see, no slanderer, no liars, no sorcerers, etc. That is what the Bible says, right? And if you judge Brian Shearer's lifestyle, you know, many have concluded that he went straight to hell. But the shocking thing is, he might not have gone to hell. And this is why. You see, according to the Bible, probably Brian Shearer might have called on the name of Jesus before he died. Now, let us go first of all for us to understand uh, whether he might have called upon the name of Jesus. Let's read the, the story of uh, the two thieves and Jesus Christ on the cross. There is this thief on the cross in the book of Luke 23 that asked Jesus for help. When Jesus Christ was being crucified and this thief was also dying, he told Jesus to remember him. Remember, this thief lived a sinful life uh, the, the entire time. Even on the cross, he was being crucified because he was a thief. Therefore, he was a sinner and he was a sinful life. He lived a sinful life. And if you read Luke 23 verse 42, you would see this thief telling Jesus, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Then verse 43, Jesus responded to the thief saying, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. How can this be possible? And yet this thief lived a sinful life. You don't see him fasting. You don't see him going to church. You don't see him giving offerings. You don't see him tithing. He was a thief. But he tells Jesus when he was dying, Please remember me in your kingdom. Then Jesus Christ responds back telling him, I shall be with you in paradise. How is this possible? Well, that answer can be answered by uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 13. Now, according to Romans chapter 10 verse 13, we are told, Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Mark the word everyone. Everyone whether a sinner or not, as long as you have called upon the name of the Lord, you will be immediately saved. Now, the big question is, what if a Brian Shearer called upon Jesus on that day before he died? What if he did that? Probably. If he did that, then he is in heaven at the moment. Because we cannot tell when he died, even though he was a drunkard, when he was knocked by this car, what if uh, within five seconds after being knocked, he said, Jesus. What if he just called upon the name of Jesus? He might be in heaven at the moment. So we cannot conclude that he is in hell. Because we cannot tell what he told Jesus when he died at that moment. Because nobody saw him or rather heard whatever he said. So he might have called on Jesus on that day. And immediately, if he called on Jesus his soul might be in heaven at the moment because everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone, mark the word everyone. This means a sinner, a pagan, 
an atheist, a Muslim, as long as you call upon the name of the Lord, even on that day when you are dying, he will save you. Just like the thief who called upon the name of Jesus when he was hanging on that cross. So probably Brian Shira called upon the name of Jesus on that day before he died and he was saved. That's what we can say. So we cannot conclude that he is in heaven or in hell because we don't know what he told God on that time, that few seconds that he was breathing on earth. We can't tell what he said. We can't tell because nobody heard him, even though it is said there are witnesses who saw him, but they never heard whatever he said. Well, according to the Bible, we cannot tell. He might be in heaven. He might be in hell. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's see you next time. Bye-bye.